what's going on, y'all? T-Bob here. And Jake as well. And you're about to watch a little OTB LSU. We're going to give you all the latest, greatest between LSU football, baseball, women's basketball, softball, and everything in between. Bottom line, if you want to talk Tigers, keep it locked, subscribe, like it, and uh, we hope you enjoy the LSU and their defensive position groups and which one we can see the biggest improvement. Now, I don't, I don't want to steal yours, so I'll let you go first to see if we agree. Uh, um, I, I think we're probably on the same page here. Uh, I think it has to be linebacker yep. um, in that while I like the potential of the secondary, your most raw talent kind of headlined by Perkins and Weeks probably lines up at that middle linebacker position. Uh, and then there's the impossible to ignore Blake Baker effect. Yeah. Um, and, and it's not just like, like, you know, we talked about Nate Yeski with the baseball teams at the time this year and make no mistake. It seems like the pitching staff is taking a step back, but I'm like, well, yes, maybe some of that is Yeski's like maybe struggling a bit, but maybe more of it is just about Wes Johnson being awesome. Right. And look at what Georgia baseball is doing. Like that would probably speak to that. Right. Well, in this case, it's the inverse where it should improve drastically because Matt House, that was the position he was coaching. And I think he was doing an actively bad job. Players didn't understand their assignments. They weren't making plays. And so now, um, not only do you have a lot of talent there, but you go from House to Baker, a guy that we've already seen it do, engineer the craziest turnaround I've ever seen in Damone Clark from 2020 to 2021. And it's like, okay, there's a ton of reason for excitement there. So, yeah, I think the answer is clearly middle linebacker. I agree with you, and you probably knew that, as you said, because of other things that you just laid out, too. It was a group that, honestly, last year, I think they just went off their talent because they were a talented group, and the plays that they made were based yeah. off their talent, not the coaching that they received. And so, like, they they weren't the worst unit on this LSU defense last year, but there can be big improvements for them. And and Blake Baker and what he did with Damone Clark and, and – Gosh, Blake will tell a great story of like, when I got here, people told me Damone Clark couldn't play. And I'm like, are y'all seeing the same human being that I'm seeing? Like, this is somebody that can not only play, but he can be one of the best players in the conference. And now he's a starting linebacker for the Dallas Cowboys, right? So, like, you look at the Weeks brothers, and you look at Harold Perkins, and you look at, like, all the things, and Penn, and Greg you Penn is Greg somebody. Penn. Yeah. Greg Penn's still there, yeah. Greg Penn's somebody that was solid down the stretch as well. It's a room that's got a ton of experience now, and it's got a ton of guys that can do different things. I think that's important, too. Like, if you're looking at that room, you're never going to confuse any of those players for each other, which I think is a good thing for LSU because you can use them in multiple ways in multiple positions. Yeah, the um, and, and Brian Laplace asks, what's the main difference between House and Baker's style of coaching? Um, I don't know about the style, per se, but... Uh, one thing that I think I can say with confidence is that Madhouse was struggling to communicate yep. responsibility to his players uh, within the scheme. And that is one of the m biggest separating factors from, I think, being an NFL coach and a college head coach. In the NFL, players have to meet you on your mental level. If they don't, they're cut. And you probably got a player who's nearly as good and can do it mentally, right? In college, you have to bring you you have to meet the players right because the players are your players you're not just going to have guys waiting in the wings to do the same thing so you have to meet your players where they're at and give them things that they can digest and understand and that's something that baker has been excellent at and i think that was actually probably the main yeah. problem uh with matt house last year i agree with you i think communication is the big difference when you talk to players that have played for blake baker they uh, they have a voice in the room and mm -hmm. when you hear about, you know, how Matt House was, it was like, hey, here's what it is. Here's what it's going to be. And I'm not saying that the players run the meeting, but you have to have input from the players. You have to allow them the ability to talk in the meeting room because at the end of the day, the coach isn't out there on the field. The players are. So what are you seeing? What are you feeling? What's going on out there? Tell me so I can help correct you or I can put you in the right position. And I. I was very fortunate in my career. I had coaches that allowed you to kind of set the scene for them. And so you set the scene and then they're the director of the film. You set it for them. And then they give you the advice of how they want maybe to play out. 
but you have to set that scene for them. And so if you don't have that ability, and that's kind of what you hear from that linebacker room from a year ago is they didn't have the ability to communicate with the coaches, then you're not going to you know, be able to go out there and make adjustments and put your best foot forward. So I would say communication more than anything. Yeah, um, I think I think that's actually a pretty good answer by us, to be honest. Uh, you know, you know what I want to get into next too? these early betting lines. Did you see these from DraftKings? Uh, I did. I did. Um, hmm. There's a lot interesting, both in LSU's favor yes. and the one place that they're actually an underdog. I find it to be quite surprising. All right, so before we do that, because we'll do that on the other side, uh, let's give a chance to Tyler from Spartanburg to see if he has another position group maybe that he thinks can improve the most on LSU's oh, defense. First off, shout out Tyler from Spartanburg. Dabo didn't lose a game after that phone call, so he maybe didn't. you should consider adding him to the coaching staff. That's true. No, I, I mean, yeah, linebacker's the obvious answer, but since y'all went there, I'll go safety position in general. Not, not the secondary, just the safety spot. You move Major Burns to the star position, which I think is a lot more natural position. Sage Ryan played really well at safety, which he has not gotten to play his entire time here at LSU. Jordan Gilbert was running with the ones. He's a Texas A&M transfer. I mean, this room improved so much in the spring that a guy like Ryan Yates, who got a lot of play a year ago as a freshman and made some nice plays, fell out of favor. I mean, he was yeah. out of the rotation, and that's why he entered the portal. Kylan Jackson has stepped up. You got a lot of young guys coming in as well. Deshaun McBride's a guy that everybody loves. They've been so yeah. hyped yeah. about him. Jawan Johnson's coming in. They said he can play safety or corner. I mean, you got a new DB coach as well. There's a lot of talent in that safety room. So that's 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 where I'm going to go. To go a little bit different, I mean, because I agree yeah. with linebacker, Ooh, obviously, tail. but to go a little bit different than you guys, good I'll go safety. Yeah, it's, a, it's actually a really good answer. Even a blind game. squirrel. Broken. Bust the nut every now and then. I don't think that's uh, the same. Wait, wait, wait. The blind scroll? Not. Yeah, it is. No, I don't no think yeah, bust it open yeah. to eat the nut. Oh. oh. No, no, that's still not the yeah. same. Yeah. Even yeah. a blind yeah. squirrel busts yeah. the nut every now yeah, and then. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yes, broken clock, but yours is much better. Wow, Jake, what incredible takes. I mean, those guys, they're just the best. Uh, I think so. And if you think so, again, hit the like button, subscribe, ring the bell so you get notifications when we post every single day here on OTB LSU.